Hello, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, students who are finished with iReady lessons um, or almost finished with their iReady lessons. How do we tell, what do we do, um, and how to anticipate that and so forth. Well, the best way to, to, to dig into this is to go to the assignments tab and then wait for our server to catch up. And then make sure you're on the sub tab here for lesson plans. Okay, and uh, Mrs. Rollins was asking me about this earlier, so I'm going to use her Math 1 class as an example. But if I scroll down and select the teacher name, make sure I'm on class, not instructional group, if I'm looking at a class. For this example, I'm using the Math 1 class. Now, if you click on Display Class Summary, you're going to get a list of students who have with the next three lessons that are going to be assigned to them listed. The problem with this summary is that students who have no lessons scheduled will not appear on this list, so you would need to know your roster very well to be able to determine just by glancing at this report that they've placed out or they're finished with their iReady lessons. However, if I click on the top student, I will get the rest of their lesson plans for this subject. For these are uh, for math, Peyton has 10 more lessons scheduled. And then if I simply press the down arrow button, which is over by your number pad on the right, I can kind of scroll through very quickly. Rayleigh has seven. And then here we go, I can see that Abby has none. So Abby did not appear on the class summary that we looked at, but here I can see that she has no more lesson plans in math. So. But I can look up here and I can see that she ended up mid eight in this domain, mid eight in this domain, late eight, which is what we want in measurement and data, mid eight in geometry. So uh, it might be worthwhile to click on, you can use this shortcut right here to the response to instruction report, because we would want to double check to make sure that there were no domains off or whatever. So if I click here, it's like a backdoor in, it's already set on Abby's name. I create the report, I wait, and then I can see here that all of the domains are on, so that's good. And then I can see, this is, this is really good right here, I think. Okay, back in November and October, she had problems with this lesson here, operations with numbers expressed in scientific notation, okay? I may want to give that to her again since she's finished. Okay, she had problems with it twice. All right, so back over on the assignment tab, I can switch over to extra lessons and then I can add lessons, select the domain that the lesson was in that she had problems with, and then I can find the lesson. Here it is, right here. And I could add by clicking there if I wanted to. That might be something that you could or should do. I don't think it will hurt. Um, so that would be an option for that. And then if we wanted to go back up, you can click on the next student. If you want to get back, well, we need to make sure we're back on lesson plans. I'm telling you, this sub, these subheadings here are real important in, uh, in iReady. But I could continue. Clicking through the class, I can see uh, they're not finished, they're not finished, they're not finished. Furthermore, I would have conversation why they have so many left, okay, with all the time that we've spent on it, especially these higher performing kids. They shouldn't have this many lessons left, some of them. Uh, Rachel looks like Sydney only has 12 left. Okay, here's another student that has none. So again, we could take the shortcut here. We can look up here and see. She's late eight and two, that's good. Early eight in geometry would concern me. So we come here to the student response to instruction report, create the report. The same lesson that gave the other student problems <laughs> gave this student problems twice. So that again, that might be something that we need to eat. Now at this point, I would be 
inclined to do something live in class with it. Okay, down here, uh, solving linear equations with rational coefficients, I might want to send that one back out. Properties of rotations, um, I would send that back out because that was a problem twice. Not once, but twice. Um, and so make just because they're finished, don't assume that there aren't still gaps. We just have to figure out what the gaps are and respond accordingly. So please let me know if you need help or how I can assist you moving forward. Have a great day.